Canola, to many, is just that golden flower that you see on social media around September. Australia is gonna grow enough canola this year to fill just over six MCGs. But that canola doesn't end up in the Melbourne Cricket Ground, and in fact, it doesn't even end up most of it in Australia. Most of our canola is sent to places like Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. What's it used for there? Well, it can either be used as food uh, in terms of cooking oil, or believe it or not, it can be turned into fuel. A while ago, scientists found that biofuels, when burnt in a car, truck, or even a plane, produce less emissions than conventional fossil fuel, like diesel. As of today, there's very limited capacity in Australia to create biofuel for road-based vehicles, like cars and trucks, and in fact, none to make it for planes. The primary reason is cost. The cost of biofuel far outstrips conventional diesel. However, it does provide three significant benefits. First, in the case of plane transportation, it helps reduce emissions in a very hard to abate sector. You can make cars electric to reduce emissions, but not planes. Well, at least not yet. Second, creating fuel locally could reduce Australia's fuel import risk. Last year, Australia imported over 95% of its fuel, a scary stat for any industry. Third, creating local demand for crops can also reduce the risk of economic coercion being used against Australian farmers uh, and the farming sector more broadly, like we saw since the end of COVID, uh, or more broadly over the past five years with all the tariff wars. If a production sector for biofuels was created in Australia, our numbers show that roughly an entire million tonnes of canola would be needed. And that's not to mention the tallow and used cooking oil that can be used as well. For an in-depth analysis, be sure to read our report, Refueling Australian Aviation, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.